Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We have our character here, and our character has had this sort of very, very, very simple character controller on it, which is basically using the, uh, whoops, get that, move that. It's basically using the input, the horizontal and vertical axis to say, well, okay, uh, set the velocity of the rigid body in one of those two directions, or both those directions, set the rigid body uh, velocity in those two directions according to the way that the axis is set. Okay. Now, we're doing this by setting the velocity. We're not actually doing this by setting a force, which is a little bit, eh, a little bit clunky, but let's, uh, let's stick with that for a moment. Okay. Now, um, that's fine with a character like this. So if I have this character and I'm doing sort of YSD control, I walk down, I walk up, I walk left, I walk right. That's cool. Now, what if I have a different type of controller, though? What if I have a different type of character? What if I have a character that is a bird? Now, I, I had to think really hard to, to, to this kind of bird thing because I was like, well, I want something that kind of kept with the theme of my, uh, my medieval thing. And I didn't want to put like a spaceship or anything like that. So I, I found a bird. And obviously the bird is kind of weird. Now I could do directions with the bird, but I figured, okay, what if I could rotate the bird rather than, you know, WASD the bird? I'm gonna rotate it and have it fly in, in a certain direction. All right. So the first thing I did is I actually moved the game controller, the character controller, I moved it up to a game object that is now the parent, and I'm gonna call this the player game object as opposed to the hero game object because the hero game object is going to be just our little character then we have the bird game object which is going to be our bird and we're going to allow the user to somehow the player to somehow switch between the two that'll be our thing at some point but for now let's just say all right we have the player and the player has the rigid body on it and it has the character controller on it that we made our custom character controller and what i want to do is I'm going to need something, some way to have it switch. All right, so I'm going to create a bool, uh, and I'm going to call it control mode. All right, uh, or we'll call it uh, uh, WASD mode. Okay, a little bit odd. Uh, and we say bool wasd mode equals true. And if that is the case, we're going to do our, our move like that. Okay. All right. So we say if wasd mode equals true, we're going to do probably just uh, this part here where we say, okay, let's set that velocity. Now, um, this is also setting the animation of the of our little hero. So in all honesty at this point, we're gonna comment all of that out and we'll go ahead and tab that in and we'll say that we wanna have an else. Right, for this other mode that we're going to have. All right. So in this mode, we're going to use our horizontal input, our A and D, to rotate the bird. Right. So in order to do that, we're going to say transform or no. We're going to say here's what we'll do. Um, Rigid body 2D dot, well, not rigid body 2D, get component rigid body 2D rotation, right? The rotation of the rigid body, right? We say move the rotation, right? Rotates the rigid body to angle. Now, this is going to be to a certain angle. Let's see, freeze rotation, controls where the physics will change it. We're going to change that. Set rotation, 
sets the rotation to an angle, moves or rotates the rigid body to angle. All right. So you'll notice the tough part here is how much do I want to move it by, right? So what I could do instead of that, I could say, well, why don't I do this? I'm going to say add torque. Okay. And see, so ask me to put to just basically add torque, right? Float torque. And what we're going to do for that torque is we're going to say we're going to use my move dot what dot x, right? So it will be we're going to add a certain amount of torque. And we should do something like multiply this by time dot delta time so that we're not just rotating like crazy. We're going to add a certain amount of torque, 0 to 1, depending on that being pressed. So let's give that a try. Save. All right. Didn't change. Why? Because we didn't change WASD mode here. All right. So what I'm going to do in this character control, I'm going to make this public here. Type it for WASD mode. Then I'm going to come over here. And now I'm going to turn WASD mode off. And nothing is happening. Let's look. Here's Z it's set to 0.36. Not, not much, not much going on here. Uh, info. We're trying to change the angular velocity. And we're not rotating much. It's just a tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit. Okay, so obviously it's not enough. All right. So what we need to do is we need to set it to be a much bigger value. So it would be best to have, and we'll try if we're experimenting here, public float uh, torque speed or torque multiplier. That's what we need. All right. And we will use that right there. Okay, so we have a torque multiplier. For for now, we're setting it by 10. Let's see what happens. Is our WASD mode set? Let's double check. Ah, okay, it's rotating. Cool. Now, we're going that direction. And we'll eventually go in the other direction. But we're adding torque to it, right? So we're kind of gaining speed here. So it's not a sudden. It's not. A, it's not just a change, immediate change of direction. All right. So let's go ahead. Maybe we'll change that torque multiplier. We'll, we'll crank it up a little bit more. So let's say fifty. So now it should spin pretty quick. Okay. Relatively, not super. So let's let's change one other thing now. Let's also change the angular drag to something higher, right? Now let's set the angular drag to be 0.5. What that means is that it will stop rotating a lot quicker. But what it also means we might want to set this torque multiplier up much higher. So the cool thing is with angular drag, it means it'll slow down pretty quick. All right, so now we are uh, rotating left and right according to a torque. I think it could uh, stand for quite a bit more angular drag there. So let's set that to one, see what that's like. That's pretty good. And you notice it kind of spins around and eventually comes to a, a 
stop there. I don't know, maybe more. Angular drag of two. Now, I also have these keys backwards, by the way. You're, you're probably not noticing that, but they are backwards. So I'm going to set them. Um, I'm going to just make it negative. <laughs> Easy enough to do. Now they'll be the right thing. So now D will rotate clockwise and S will rotate counterclockwise. All right. Oh. Now set my angular drag here to two. Shouldn't have changed it in game mode. All right. Now, watch this. If I set the character on, now you see why I don't like putting the character in that mode, right? Because the character, that would look weird. The character kind of moved that way. It doesn't seem right. So let's turn the hero off and turn the bird back on. But for the bird, it's pretty reasonable. So now all I need to do is somehow move the bird forward. So how am I going to do that? So, all right, go to our controller. And we're going to say that now we're going to add that force. We're going to add a force, add force in a certain direction. And the direction we want to add the force in is the relative, is just the up direction of the, uh, of the bird. Right? I think that's right. Uh, so let's, let's try that. And that would be transform dot Times now we should have something here. We should have a force multiplier. We'll go ahead up here and we'll create a force multiplier. Set that to 10 by default. Let's see what happens. We play. Whoa! I barely touched anything, shot right off the screen. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Way too much. So what happened here? All right, get component, rigid body, add torque, transform up. Oh, well, the problem is that I just did this without regard for the actual magnitude of this, right? So it automatically shot it right up off the screen. So what I need to do is I need to actually scale that according to the uh, my my move right my move dot is it x now no y that would be up and down times and that's gonna be from zero to one so that's good right and that should be a lot better whoa pretty quick that's a quick bird so let's go ahead and Let's see, linear drag. We're going to set that to, well, what linear drag is basically, I think we set it to 20, if I recall. That's going to be basically saying, okay, within how many frames does it go back down to zero? Now, here's where we're getting interesting. All right. So what we really want to be able to do here, you notice it's kind of dropping back. And you know, I have the bird kind of going backwards here. Because my animation animation was upside down. So I think what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to set my bird and I'm going to flip the Y and put it back on the screen here. Look at that. I have a bird. I'm going to stop there. Because next we're going to talk a little bit more about fixed updates versus the normal updates and why they're important. And that will be kind of a big topic. So there, I like that. 
And now, what would happen if I went back to my hero instead of my bird? My hero looks really weird. Here he is walking. No. That makes no sense, right? That's why we have two different modes. Turn him back to a bird. It'll make a lot more sense. All right. Good enough. 15 whole minutes. Hope you uh, were able to follow that.